。由外交部教育部与公共电视合办的一百零五度外交小尖兵英语种子选拔赛。经过激烈的初赛，从一百多支队伍中脱颖而出的十八支队伍，于一百零五年十二月三号聚集在台北公共电视，准备进入紧张刺激的决赛。最后将会是哪三所学校的同学获胜，代表台湾出国参访呢？今年的即席演讲题目是：你认为台湾的软实力为何？我们应如何运用这样的优势，加深国际社会对台湾的认识？抽出题目后，各队同学每隔五分钟会由工作人员带往不同的准备区，每队有二十分钟准备。就让我们看看同学们的表现如何喽。Just a month ago, Taiwan was the brightest star at the Nuremberg Invention Exhibition by winning 18 gold medals. Some of our participants are still in middle school. Also, in the summer of 2014, 20 students from National Jiao Tong University impressed the world with the green building they designed in France. Fab labs are being adopted by schools around the world for project-based. STEM education and are about creative thinking, innovation, and open-mindedness. These ideals go to the heart of what Taiwan believes in. Our school's Fab Lab gives students the opportunity to do hands-on learning. After he came back to Taiwan, he started to set up online platforms to provide educational resources to them. From then on, whenever children in Tanzania use the platform, they think of Taiwan and think of a country of love and humanity. 一直问答的十五个题目会考验同学们对国际事务的尝试，在分数方面也是同学们最后冲刺的机会。The ASEAN Secretariat is located in which city and country? Which one of the following European countries has a working visa agreement with Taiwan? The United Nations Security Council consists of five permanent member countries, and how many non-permanent member countries? 十五题的一直问答结束后，今天的优胜队伍即将诞生。第三名是私立明道高级中学。恭喜明道高级中学。第二名是国立武林高级中学。恭喜。冠军队伍是建国高级中学，恭喜！恭喜！外交小尖兵，明年。